I've been waiting so long for the lawn mowers to stop making noise so I can film really quick, but they're not stopping. So, so hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those who are new here and in today's video, we're gonna be going to TJ Maxx, see what new makeup they have going on, what sales are new. You guys have been loving my TJ Maxx video, my Marshalls video. I think I'm gonna try to make more videos where makeup's on sale, like Kohl's always has really good stuff. And yeah, I think next time I'm gonna go to Kohl's and see what makeup they have on sale. But you guys have been loving these type of videos, sale videos, sale vlogs. So today's video, we're gonna be going to TJ Maxx again. I personally go to TG Maxx and Marshalls all the time. I love getting more for my money. I love getting high-end stuff for super affordable. So we're gonna be going to TG Maxx again today. I'm gonna try not to buy anything just because, I mean, as much as I love going to these stores, um, everything adds up. So I'm trying not to buy anything. I just wanna see what they have going on and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So if you guys wanna come to TJ Maxx with me, see what new makeup they have going on, what sales are going on, then please keep watching. So we're back here. Let's see what stuff they have. Too Faced Melted. I don't want to talk about the same stuff we always see. Um, ooh. Estee Lauder. This is a lip pencil duo for $10. That's actually not bad. Um, it Cosmetics Concealer. We saw that last time. Ooh, there's a lot more Anastasia stuff than there was last time. Um, they always have liquid lipsticks here, but I haven't, the last time I was here, there really wasn't any. We got a lot of NARS. Wow. This is, this is a NARS Velvet Gloss. Lip Glide. Velvet Eyeshadow Stick. $5.99. That's a pretty steal. There's a lot of NARS here. We have some Marc Jacobs Lip Shine for $7.99. We have some Bare Minerals lipstick. $4.99. That's really good. And a lot of Anastasia lip liquid lipsticks. We have the shade Dusty Rose. And $7.99 is not bad because they're usually $20 and sometimes the sales are like, I don't know, $10. But $7.99 is better. There's a lot of Poet, oh, Stripped. This is one of my favorites. I have this at home. Um, the shade Allison. This was really popular. Okay, moving down. We have Fit Cosmetics Lip Flush. What is that? So for $10. It's a gloss stain. Hmm, I've never actually seen this. Ooh, uh, Oh my god, this is heaven. Do you guys know what this is? This is the Stilla Liquid Eyeshadows. These are my favorite for $6.99. They're originally $25. So let's see. I have a lot of these shades, actually. I have Hypnotic, I think. I have Lilac. What shade is this? Sunset Cove, I have that too. You know what? I need to go home and see what shades I have so I don't purchase the same ones. Oh, that mint I have. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wait on that. Oh, moving down, we have a bunch of Anastasia liquid lipsticks. This is like literally Anastasia jackpot for sure for $7.99. It's the same price as the liquid lipsticks, so I would rather get the liquid lipsticks. That's just me. And the shades are all pretty similar. They have the shade Petal, Soft Touch, Soft Pink. Oh my God, more still. Ooh, this one, Peach. Precinct. I definitely don't have this. Cover girl. Now we're on. Oh, wow. We have the Too Faced Better Than Love Mascara. I never tried this one. I've only tried the Better Than Sex one. And it's $12.99. It's not that bad. But they're usually like $20, so I feel like it could have been better. Let's see. What other high end stuff? Oh my gosh, we have so much of the Too Faced Mascara. This is the one I was looking for last time. But honestly, I think I got confused with the mascara, the um, concealer I wanted. I wanted the other Born This Way concealer, that one that's like really big and thick. 
we have some NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. A lot of this is really similar to the last time we were here. Ooh, some Kat Von D Brow Struck Powder for $5.99. That's a steal. Ooh, Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder for $4.99. Oh, the new Almay, the new Almay concealer. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Stick. Wow, we actually have a lot more stuff than we did last time. NARS Blush for $16.99. Guys, there's a lot of people here for like a Friday morning. It's like 11 a.m. and there's so many people here. We have some Anastasia Liquid Highlighter for $5.99. There, let's see. All right, this is skincare. Oh no, I'm trapped. All right, now let's go to the palettes. We have some Anastasia bronzer, their blush trio for $10. That's not bad. I actually just sold one of mine on Poshmark that I had. Um, we have some Anastasia bronzer for $10.99. Wow, there's a lot of Anastasia here. This was not here the last time I was here. We have some NARS pressed powder for $12.99. Okay, so this is definitely like a NARS and Anastasia day for sure. There's so much stuff here. We have the Anastasia Subculture Palette. I actually have that for $20. That should totally be cheaper though. Ooh, some more Estee Lauder. Let's see. This is their Set Blur Finish Perfecting Powder for $14.99. We saw this last time we were here. Honestly, there's some really good stuff and I wish I had more money, you know? Because I'd buy everything. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we found some more NARS. This is their Velvet Matte Skin Tint for 10 bucks. That's actually not bad. Let's check out the shade. This is in the shade Medium, not bad. I think I'm gonna hold on to this because 10 bucks is pretty cheap for this. Wow. Dolce & Gabbana Lift Foundation. I've actually never seen this foundation here before and we're here like every week. Oh, and MAC too. That's pretty cool. 15 bucks for the Matte S um, Match Master. I've never seen MAC foundation here either. We have some more Estee Lauder for $17.99. Wow. We have some Clinique. Let's see. Alright, let's move down. That's all the high-end stuff I see. We have some more palettes here, but a lot of these are just like the TJ Maxx brands or whatever. Oh, what's this? Personal grooming phase. That's cool. Let's groom ourselves. We still have a lot of more booths, so let's see. Some more Too Faced, I feel like that's always here. Ooh, Stella Brow Pencil for $4.99. Oh shit. Oh god, I dropped something, of course. I always drop. Oh god, I'm stuck. Guys, I'm a mess. I should not be allowed at stores, I just drop everything. Oh, we have a lot of bronzers here. None of them are high end, but. I love when bronzers are huge like this. They last forever. Oh, we have some Becca highlighter and liquid highlighter kits for $12.99. I mean, they retail for $20, so that's really not that good. All right, let's keep this going. We got some brushes. I always see people finding like NARS and Sigma brushes, but I never... I've never ever seen Sigma brushes here. Like, never. Dude, that just happened to me. I just said I've never seen Sigma brushes here, and look what I just found. I found their Tightline Liner for $7.99. That's so funny. 
Dude, that really just happened to me. This is their angle kabuki brush for $12.99. That's good. I wish I found my... Let's see if this happens again. I wish I could see my favorite Sigma eyeshadow brush. Let's see if it pops up for me. That's so funny. Like That, that literally just happened. I'm like, I've never seen any Sigma brushes. And then I turned the corner and two of them are right there. Some real techniques. Mm. All right, moving on over here. We have some lashes. I feel like these should always be so cheap here, but they're really not. They're eight dollars. That's how much it is at Harmon. So, um, it's really not good. I feel like we went through this pretty quickly because there's just like a huge section of Nars, a humongo section of Anastasia, and then huge of Stella. So there really isn't like a lot of different things. But I mean, that's like a jackpot. I'm definitely gonna come back tomorrow. I think because I really want some of these. I just don't know what shades I already have. I mean, the I have, I think I have this shade, but I have like a purple one that's very similar to it. I don't know, like a fuchsia, I don't remember that name, but I have one that's like a purpley pink like that, so I don't know. But all the Marc Jacobs for $6.99 is really cheap. All right, I think we went through everything now. I think we're done here. Unless we want to look at skincare, but no one's really said to look at skincare in my comments. Some cleaning clear, Neutrogena, and a retinol eye cream. Some Crest toothpaste though. Three of them for $8.99, that's actually really good. The Crest is so expensive. Let's say. For $8.99 for three packs, that's actually really good. Anyone else get excited for, for a cheap toothpaste? All right, so we really we pretty much went through everything. Ooh, coconut hand wash. That's nice. And I think we're done here. Okay, I have to pop my camera back out because I just found some things that I've never seen here before. It's a dramatically different moisturizing gel. This is literally a steal for $20. That's such a steal. I've never seen this. They also have the lotion. Oh my god, they have the moisture eye surge for $24.99. Oof, that's a little too much. Really? This is a Clinique like jackpot. And then also they have Glam Glow for $30. That's okay. I'd like to see something better. Estee Lauder makeup remover wipes for $16.99. That should be a lot cheaper. Wow, they actually, they must have did like a huge like shipment here because when I was here, they did not have any of this. This is some clean and clear for $7.99. That's actually really good because I use the treatment on like some pimples and stuff and I love it. And this comes with the cleanser and the moisturizer. There's also more Glam Glow here. This is their hydrating mask for, where's the price? I don't see a price, so I guess it's free, right? They just have like so much glam glow. I've never seen glam glow here, but I've seen people who make these videos also and they always find glam glow. I just never find it. I just can't believe all the Clinique. That is sick. Oh wait, some more NARS. Their velvet matte stick foundation. All right guys, I'll be back, probably. So that is everything from TJ Maxx. I didn't end up picking up anything, which is good because I really didn't want to. I really wanted to try to save my money, but I still wanted to see if there was anything that was really good that's worth buying, you know? I mean, like, even though I'm trying to save my money, sometimes you find a good sale, like something that, like, you can't pass up. Um, but yeah, I really didn't see anything that, like, I really couldn't pass up or something that I needed to have, like, dire need. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy my TJ Maxx videos and my Marshalls videos, Videos and just like my sale videos then please give it a thumbs up let me know what type of video you guys want to see next thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video